Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to generate exceedance frequency or risk contours for different effect levels such as thermal radiation, explosion, LFL, and toxic. This feature is only available on Safeti with explosions extension. Exceedance contours that are displayed on the plot plan or even on a GIS map are useful as this will allow a user to show the extent of frequency contours for a specific effect level or to show contours for different radiation levels for a given frequency or risk. At this point, I have already set up the scenarios I would like to model, specified the modeling parameters, and defined the congested regions and ignition sources. I have also defined a run row for the scenarios to model. Now, to add effect levels, I will go to the effects tab within the input window. It is possible to add effect levels such as overpressure, jet fire, pull fire, fireball, flash fire to LFL fraction, and toxic. And to do this, right click on the effects level folder, go to insert, and click on the effect level that you wish to present in your results. And in this demo, I will show you an example for an overpressure effect level. Now, I am going to specify the parameters. And in this example, I will select reflected as the pressure method and overpressure of 0.1 bar. Then click OK. I have added a few effect levels within my model. It is important to remember the LFL fraction for the flash fire will be based on the LFL fraction to finish that is specified within the flammable parameters in the parameters tab, which in this demo, I have specified to be one. Now to run the model, ensure that the run row is active by selecting all run rows within the input window. To run risk, go to the home ribbon bar Ensure that the risk is selected as the mode, then hit run. The duration of the run will depend on the number of scenarios to run. Now that the model has finished running, we can view the results. It is possible to present one effect level for a number of exceedance frequencies or one exceedance frequency for a number of effect levels. To view one radiation level for a number of exceedance frequencies, go to the home ribbon bar, click risk, then select multi-level. A window will appear and in here you can select the exceedance frequencies to display for a given run row and a given vulnerability or effect level. In this example, I will show all the default frequency levels and display them for the 37.5 kilowatt per meter squared jet fire radiation level. To do that, I will just select jet fire radiation level 37.5 kilowatt per meter squared in the drop down. Then click Finish. A new window has opened which shows the exceedance frequencies or the risk contours for the 37.5 kilowatt per meter squared. Alternatively, to view one exceedance frequency for a number of effect levels, go back to the ribbon bar, click on Risk, then select Multi Vulnerability. A different window appears where you can select multiple effect levels for one risk level. In this example, I will select the two reflected overpressure levels that I have specified and unselect the rest. And I will be displaying them for the 1 times 10 to the minus 6 per year exceedance frequency by selecting it through the drop-down options. Then click Finish. The 1 times 10 to the minus 6 exceedance frequency for the two overpressure levels I have specified are shown in this window. These exceedance contours for different effect levels are often useful for analysis, such as the Occupied Buildings Risk Assessment or OBRA, or any facility siting type of assessment where a risk-based approach is used. We hope that this how-to video has been useful to you. Thank you.